the cycle that's the topic for now see normally when we breathe in uh, we don't breathe in equally on both sides both nasal cavity so when you breathe in 80% of the air goes from one side and only 20% of the air goes from the other side and this goes on for from 4 hours to up to 8 hours so what happens after 8 hours it alternates spontaneous alteration this side there will be entry of 80% of air and this side only 20% in short in summary it means that when one side nasal cavity is working the other side is taking rest how does it happen why does it happen let me tell you that so before that let me show you the structure of the nose so if you see the structure of the nose inside you have uh, turbinates these are the turbinates you have three turbinates on each side this is the side view and this is the this is the front view on each side nasal cavity you have turbinates this is the inferior turbinate this is the middle turbinate this is the superior turbinate and same structure you have on the other side also now let me show you a video of the same so this is the inferior turbinate this is the middle turbinate have a look of this video so this is the inferior turbinate this is the inferior turbinate this is the middle turbinate so in the three turbinates the most important being the inferior turbinate so inferior turbinate has got a special feature it has got cavernous tissue or spongy tissue or erectile tissue that gives a feature that it can become smaller in size and it can enlarge in size so what happens in one side when it enlarges the entry of air is less so this happens which lasts for 4 to 8 hours which like how i told you now so after 8 hours what happens this side inferior turbinate becomes normal or normal in size becomes that means the enlarged state is gone it become normal in size and the other side the opposite side inferior turbinate becomes enlarged that's how it alternates and this is under the control of brain directly and you have a signal coming from a particular part of brain to say that which side should be activated which of the, which is through the autonomous system i don't want to go into detail just specific patient teaching uh, idm uh, program I'm telling you now this you can appreciate especially when you have an upper respiratory tract infection so that time when you have an upper respiratory tract infection when you have a running nose you can notice that one nostril is more blocked than the other why it happens because suppose uh my right side due to nasal cycle my right side is blocked means only 20% of air entry and other side is open means my left side is open and i am getting upper respiratory tract infection so that time when you get an upper respiratory tract infection you have a running nose on both sides and this side is supposed to be open and it becomes closed because of the upper respiratory tract infection that time the close because of that you appreciate the blocking sensation more in that particular side that's what that happens and this happen nasal cycle happens spontaneously every day alternating and the duration also i have told you and one example i have told you that is infection other than that i have given example of upper respiratory tract infection likewise you have other factors which influence the nasal cycle like how you, like you see in this one see uh, it can be influenced by allergy that is severe nasal allergy infection already i have mentioned likewise exercises and especially so uh, so in females during hormonal changes that is during pregnancy and during puberty and you, even in fear or emotional states you can appreciate that and some specific drugs also so this is about nasal this is about nasal cycle thank you so much